So it's the number one killer in the world today is heart disease. So what are the authorities doing to get that down? Are they trying? Well, they certainly have implemented a few things. And one of the things they've implemented, and this was about the 80s, was a fat-free diet. Is that right? Low-fat diet. Stop butter and they, they uh, produced margarine. They said it's the saturated fat that causes heart disease. But in his book, The Great Cholesterol Con, Dr. Malcolm Kendrick, who's a British um, cardiovascular surgeon, notice the title of his book, The Great Cholesterol Con. He said, for the first time, normal levels of a normal vital body substance is being called a disease. He said, there is no proof. There is no proof that cholesterol causes heart disease. Now, that's shocking. I have, a, I have a few books. One's called The Great Cholesterol Lie by Dr. Dwight Lundell, another cardiovascular surgeon. Uh, the Great Cholesterol Deception by Dr. Peter Dingle. He's a PhD in Australia. Uh, the Great Cholesterol Hoax. Uh, the Great Cholesterol Myth by Johnny Bowden. We're running out of words. It's not cholesterol. And it's not fat. If it was fat, the Maasai would be dying like flies. They live on meat, blood and milk. Zero heart disease. And if it was saturated fat, when white man landed on the South Pacific Islands, they would have found a huge amount of heart disease and strokes in the islanders. Zero. And yet they're eating saturated fat every meal. The coconut. The French, oh, they love their butters and their cheeses and their creams. Very low heart disease. So let's have a look at what else medicine is doing to try and get heart disease down. They've lowered the levels. Did you know that 40 years ago, a cholesterol level of 300 was perfectly normal? Have we changed? We haven't changed at all. We've still got the same body. How do I know this? We had a nutritionist to our program and she's 69. She said, I've got the advantage of being in university 40 years ago. She said, 40 years ago, 300 was perfectly normal. Is it perfectly normal today? We're told it's not, but it is. So if someone says to me, Barbara, my cholesterol's 290, I say, great. That's really good. The Framingham Heart Study. You've heard of it. It was a little, it's a little town in, Framing, in the US, Framingham. <clears throat> it's been going for about 30 years. Probably about 40,000 people have been on the study. Some die, more come on. It was set up to prove that cholesterol causes heart disease, but it hasn't. It hasn't at all. In fact, what it did show is that people with high cholesterol levels don't get Alzheimer's. Do you need a moment's silence to digest that? Can you see why? Because the brain is the fattiest organ in the body and it needs fat. We had a midwife do our program. She was in her 80s. She said, I, I worked as a midwife in Africa for 40 years. And she said, if something was happening with the babies while I was there, their brains weren't developing properly. The doctors were getting very concerned. So they assessed what was happening. And the mothers were influenced by the baby milk companies, were stopping breastfeeding, putting their babies on the powdered milk and watering down the milk so that the powder would last longer. So those developing brains weren't getting the fat that they needed because the brain needs fat to function. <laughs> and that's why the ketogenic diet is effective with uh, epilepsy because the liver converts the fat to ketones and ketones are neurohealers, neuroprotectors. And so if someone has a stroke or a heart disease, they're put on cholesterol-lowering medication. Is that right? And a very popular one is Lipitor. I have a book at home. It's called The Thief, 
Lipitor, Thief of Memory. And it's by a Dr. Duane, who's a, who is a doctor and an astronaut. And he went for his yearly checkup, I think it was early 50s. And they said, ah, oh, your cholesterol level's a little bit high. What was it? It was 220. Your cholesterol level's a bit high. I want you to go on this uh, Lipitor. Now, no one wants to die of a heart attack, so he took the Lipitor. Six weeks later, his wife found him out in the garden, wandering around. He didn't know who she was. He didn't know who he was. He didn't know where he was. So they stopped the Lipitor, and within, within a few days, in fact, it took two weeks before he had clarity again. A year later, he went for his yearly checkup. His cholesterol levels were still 220, and the doctor said, oh, I'm not happy with those levels. I want you to go back on that Lipitor. And he said, forget it, mate. I nearly went mad on that stuff. And the doctor said, that's very rare. Let's just put you on half dose. Six weeks later, his wife found him out in the garden, didn't know who she was, didn't know who he was, didn't know where he was. So he stopped immediately. Because sometimes the person themselves, they don't realise that it's creeping up on them. The side effect of cholesterol-lowering medication is memory loss, Alzheimer's, dementia, muscle wasting, and they've just added another one, breast cancer. Because our sex hormones, as we saw last night, are made from cholesterol. We had a chemist do our program, she said, I'm a chemist, I'm not a pharmacist, you call it here. She said, I'm not against drugs, that's my work. She said, I have my own private practice and I work in a hospital a few days a week. And she said, recently a circular, we a circular went round that everyone with a cholesterol level above 190 had to go on cholesterol low medication. She said, I'm annoyed because she said, this is just a money-making scheme. This is the pharmacist telling me this. She said, if someone's on antibiotics, they're on it for a week. How long are they on it if they're, if, how long are they on it if they're put on cholesterol-lowering medication? How long are they told they've got to be on it for? Life. I'm in New Zealand. I'm in a little town there, and I'm giving meetings. And Tuesday night, I gave a meeting on heart health, and I told the truth on cholesterol. Two days later, so this is Tuesday night, Thursday night. A couple came up and said, can we speak to you? And they looked like they were in their mid-70s. He said, I want to tell you about my wife. And she just was very quiet. She said, he said, my wife's been on Lipitor for 10 years. She was starting to lose it. She was starting to do strange things. We couldn't trust her with ironing anymore. He said, so many things were happening that we were we were." feeling compelled to put her in an aged care facility. He said, we heard your lecture. We stopped the Lipitor that night. He said, I'm, I'm just here to tell you we've got my wife back. That's two days. Two days. And they, they both had tears in their eyes. Wow. If you are on cholesterol-lowering medication and you stop, there will be a side effect your memory will return. <laughs> Do you know the Bible says there's a great deceiver who's deceiving the whole world? <laughs> and you can see it through this. So what have they done to, to get heart disease down? Lowered the levels, uh, put people on fat-free diets or margarine diets. Has that, has that lowered heart disease? Put many on Lipitor, has that lowered heart disease? Not at all. Not at all. And since margarine's come along, something else has come up. It's called cancer. Because margarine is a toxic fat. The heart must be kept with all diligence. So how do we keep the heart with all diligence? Daily exercise is vital to strengthen the heart. Daily sunshine is important for the vitamin D. The fourth law is temperance. That means not taking anything into the body that will harm it and taking in moderation the good things. And there are two things that I would like to 
absolutely defined.